RV Dream Radio. Radio. Self-contained. You're listening to RV Dream New Radio. I want to tell you about something really cool that we got and we had to do an experiment for you to find out if this actually worked. This is a thing called the MP1 and it's from WineGuard. And WineGuard, as you know, has satellite dishes that range all the way up to the top one at $1,700, which sits on top of your big rig. Problem with that is if you have a big bus with your uh, satellite dish on top, uh, a lot of times you're underneath a tree and there's nothing you can do about it. We see that all the time with great big rigs with wonderful satellite dishes on top that can't pick up anything, and they've got a little satellite dish 50 feet running from their, run, running from their rig so that they can pick up direct TV or uh, whatever it may be. In our case, we are a direct TV people, and so we can tell you about direct TV. We can't tell you much about Dish Network. But this is called the MP1, and I paid $164 for it from Amazon, and it works. And I'll tell you how it works. First thing you want to do, and we've got it set up in a real Mickey Mouse situation. A lot of people just put it on the ground. We've got one of those little tables that folds up. Uh, in the travel trailer and this is a perfect vehicle this is a perfect satellite dish for a class b because you can just uh, unfold this put it in like a little suitcase takes up very little room and you can put it right back in your road trek in the bottom someplace so well worth it for for road trekkers especially class b people but for us also it's great wherever we may be we can just grab it and put it wherever we want to the cool thing is that it also has its dual uh, dual receiver so we have it only on one receiver right now you can see this it comes with 50 feet of cable but there is also another one we haven't tried that yet we'll put it on one on our trailer and one on our on our road trek the most important thing it has a um, it, it comes with a compass which is kind of a Mickey Mouse thing we have better compasses on our Motorola droids and we also have an app that I'll show you in a minute but the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's leveled and that's that's the key. There are three things. It needs to be leveled. It needs to be pointed at the satellite in the right azimuth, they call it, which is the degree uh, where the satellite is located. And also, you want to have the tilt correctly. Now, how do you find out about that? I'll show you in a second. Next, you just take the cable that comes with it. It's already actually put in. And you just take it over and put it into satellite one. Got one of those little push things we bought at Radio Shack because we're getting tired of screwing it and unscrewing it because we're frequently moving it around. Got my golf clubs on top of it as you can see also. It comes with a really good set of instructions, very simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to find out what you want to know is where is the azimuth. The azimuth means direction that the satellite is in and what the what the tilt is, where you put the tilt on your on your satellite dish. Okay? Just hit the menu button on your DirecTV receiver, select that, go into setup, and you'll see this, we've already typed in the zip code here, so we know that it is 101, satellite 101A, we know that's it, but we also know that it is 131, ele azimuth 131, and elevation 37. So you go into satellite, into the setup, and you tell it, this is my zip code and it'll tell you that your azimuth is 131 and your elevation is 37 or whatever it may be wherever you are. You want to go down, if you can see this, you want to arrow down here so that you go to signal meters and right now we're not on it so it's not showing us anything but I'll show you what happens when it does. Now this is an app that we paid like $5.95 I think it was for. It's called Satellite Finder and it's this is my Motorola Droid that you're looking at, my dirty Motorola Droid. But you can see, if we kind of get it behind the satellite dish right now, that it is pointing at sort of like uh, it wants 131. And because we set the satellite in here, it says 132.08. Azimuth is 147. But it's one th uh, the mag is 13208 and the elevation is 36.6. So that's what it wants. You see at the bottom of the screen, it's red because we're at 124, so we're not there yet. I'll show you what we have to do next. What we have to do first is we have to set the tilt. And so here you'll see the tilt on the side, and we have it set for what the prescribed thing, which I think was 37 degrees. So you just unscrew this little thing right here, 
and you can move move the satellite dish up and down until you get it and then you screw it back in and you lock it there and you lock it on the other side as well so you have them on both sides so you've got the tilt and tilt is very important it can change everything at this point then you just start to move the satellite dish in the general direction and nothing is absolute you'll see that the numbers here are not green at this point and that just has to do with what the dish is pointing at but what you will hear is the sound from inside I'll get it over here so you can hear the sound and that means that we're hitting the satellite and we're about 62 percent which I find is probably good enough and you can hear the sound the faster it beeps or the more you're on the satellite we'll try to adjust it and get it up a little bit but 62 is probably good enough they say 80 but 70 if you get 70 that's really good we didn't hit 80 yet so this will do it going to move it just a little tiny bit, just three degrees at a time. You hear the sound go down. Then it goes off, so we went the wrong way to the left. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but you can hear it certainly from the road trek and you just sort of listen stopped again now it's really fast goes off again now it's really fast so you can see on our screen it's at 60 percent we're going to give that a shot and see if we have tv so we just hit done go back and you'll see now that it's receiving satellite info it wouldn't it would be just absolutely zero if we weren't on the satellite now if things start to break up we'll have to try to get a better picture but pretty simple stuff actually you just unfold that baby you can put it right on the ground step number one is to level it step number two is to go on your receiver and type in when you run set up it'll ask you for your zip code and then it will tell you the azimuth and the, ro the uh, rotation it's a round 18-inch single LNV or one satellite if you're just hooking up one satellite. And so there you are. We had to tweak it just a little tiny bit and it gets to be, once you get up to the 52, it gets to be very sensitive when it first took about seven, eight minutes for it to download the satellite. We hadn't had it on in a while. And then once it pops up, it was breaking up a little bit. I just touched it and moved it like two degrees and boom, we got a perfect perfect uh, picture here. Can you believe that? All of that for $164. And it's waterproof. Uh, the dish is terrific. Uh, you can has a cap on there that you can load sand in uh, if you're getting high wind, or you can put water in there, which is probably the easiest thing if you're RVing. You put water in there, or if you're in cold weather, of course, you just want to put sand in there. And that makes it more stable. But we locked it in with the azimuth. Uh, Locked in the azimuth with a little key they give us. They give you everything. A couple of real important tips. One of the things that really helped us was the app from the satellite finder. Once I got that, I had a better picture. Trying to find it with a compass, it's so broad, you really don't know what you're looking at, even with a good compass that we have on the droid, which is better. The little compass that they send you is not worth very much. It's a tiny little thing and kind of gives you the general direction where you're looking, but nothing specific. It was the satellite finder that really helped us most. It has every satellite, not just direct TV. You, you scroll down and you get the right satellite on there. The other thing that happened, just to, since I had never done this before in my life, I never tried to find a satellite. I always called somebody to do it for me. The thing that, that helped a lot was direct TV. They have great uh, technical support. They went through the setup with me so that I understood what was there. And once you know that the thing you want to look at is that signal strength meter, then, then that's a real freeing up too. So then you can hear it if you actually it's a wonderful thing when you first when you finally hear that thing dial in. First couple of days, I wasn't sure this was happening, but calling Direct TV and getting the app really helped. The instructions are really good as far as um, the companies are concerned. Why well, couldn't ask for more? So for 164 bucks, you can run the cable away from it, and you've got you've got a great satellite dish, and we're very happy to have it. Thanks very much for tuning in to RV Dream, and hope you not only watch a little TV, but you listen to us now and then.
Thanks a lot for listening to us on RV Dream New Radio.